everyone, I'm Chester44, and welcome to this Let's Play of Jade Empire. Last episode, we went and happened to help out with a little problem involving an actor. That was all dealt with, and everything was good, and uh, we got a fair pay for it. We also made our way back to, uh, to our companions, where we ended up encountering the Inquisitor, who gave us a mission. Stop a, uh... Stop a report from getting to Minister Fang. A really horrible person. And we have to do it subtly, not killing everyone. Seems there may be some conversations here as well, so let's see what we can get. Let's start with Zoo. I trust your plans go well, despite the dangers you face and inflict. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, what do you think of our current situation? Your dalliance with the Lotus Assassins could be disastrous. I cannot force you to do otherwise, but you may eventually force my hand. Other questions? How do you feel about the plan to join the Lotus Assassins? I will need your knowledge. It is a foolish idea. You do not understand the seductive nature of the Assassins, and what they do to recruits. Enlighten me. It does not take much to make a person forget who they are. With a little effort, they can be pushed past any morals they might have claimed. Cloaked in service and honor, even the most depraved of barbarity soon becomes unremarkable. I will find a way to enter without participating in their foul ways. A naive assumption. Perhaps you can avoid direct participation, but their fanaticism will still affect you. The rot that is Death's hand permeates the complex. He was made our leader during the raising of Dirge. He replaced Sun Kin, who along with the glorious strategist, never returned from that campaign. I did not serve Death's hand long, but when the orders came, he never questioned. The connection is more direct than loyalty and he instills that in his Lotus Assassins. That is how so many were driven to kill without cause, and why I decided no more. Zhu, why does this trouble you so much? You've killed many before and since. There was more to that event. You are right to sense it. But I have kept my silence for so long that I must carefully consider the repercussions of breaking it. I must inevitably deal with my demons. Your destiny demands it. But I must also know that those demons will be put to rest, not exploited. For many years, I did nothing. If I had known Master Li was the glorious strategist, so much could have been resolved one way or another. In the end, I will have to trust that you are enough his student to find a way to protect what I cannot. Each have our path, Zoo. I will listen when you are ready. So you claim. I am not accustomed to words having such weight. We should... We should resume your mission. You have far to go. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Wildflower, anything to say? What do you want? What do you think of our current situation? That strong lady? She's the princess? I didn't know that women could be that strong. We're always supposed to be weak and left behind. You are not weak, Wildflower. You are as strong as any woman I have ever known. Trust in yourself. And you, mortal, treat her tenderly. Is there anything else you want? Uh, no, nothing. Oh. Uh, let's see. Dawnstar, you have something to say. Yes? What do you need? I'd like to get that business with Minister Shang out of the way. She worries about the poor minister, a man she would despise in any other circumstance. Did you want to talk? Uh, what do you think about what has been happening? We just have to keep going. Okay. Did you want to talk? Your feelings are very important to me. I don't want to seem ungrateful for her help, but having Silk Fox here is causing me some concern. Really? I mean, she is the daughter of the Emperor, and we do not know his role in Master Li's capture. Can she be trusted? What concerns you? She has shown only goodwill. To you, perhaps, but not to me. I think I am perceived as a rival, 
but no one has told me what the game is. Dawnstar, she's... Uh, perhaps you're jealous of her. I am not. Why would you suggest that? And why did you smirk? <laughs> are you... Are you trying to pit us against each other? Does it amuse you to see people compete for your affection? Your affection. Did I just say that? Well, damn you for being right. You didn't know? You sought my counsel often enough. You have always been a good friend to me, but I never meant... I, I mean, I couldn't... No. No, I should have more control over this. This is too uncertain. You can't manipulate me into admitting something like this. <laughs> Not when you can leave whenever you want. We've already established... Uh, you fear the end of what has barely begun. Where does this reluctance come from? I prefer to have more control over myself, and as much control over what goes on around me as possible. Silk Fox, or whatever she wants to be called, is an unknown I can't compensate for. I can't stay in balance if I don't know what she represents. You and I, we talk and share thoughts, but she forces me to consider where that might lead, both good and bad. I'm not ready for that. pressuring you, except you. That says more than your words. I suppose it does. Strange that you are becoming more adept at reading my moods than I am. I think we will have a great deal more to discuss in the coming days. I'm looking forward to it. Until then, thank you for being so understanding. Master Lee was right. You are special. Alright, that's Very all. Well, but we should... All right, Sky. You have anything to say? Always happy to help. What do you need? What are your thoughts on our situation? I'll be honest. I can't think of anything I haven't said already. Okay then. What's on your mind right now? Dawn Star has been telling me about two rivers, the Swamp and Gal the Lesser. I was sorry to hear about your town and your friends. It brought a question to mind. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Why? Seriously. Why are you doing this? Details aside, you're fighting the Empire as a whole when you oppose the Lotus Assassin's Death's Hand or the Emperor's Will. I know all about your village and your master, and that explains some of it. What it doesn't explain is your drive, your strength. What gives you that? Hmm. People are suffering. I'm going to find out why and fix it. I wonder if fate cast this burden upon you, or if you rose up on your own to shoulder it. History will probably decide. I know you're going to follow Silk Fox's plans to find a way into the Assassin's Den. It won't be easy, but I'm confident we'll succeed. It's what happens after you find a way in that has me worried. Why the concern? I knew men and women who were drawn to the Lotus Assassins. They went into that place to prove themselves, as you intend to. And the few who made it back out were... different. Different how? They acted like they didn't know us, or just didn't care if we lived or died. It's hard to say if there's even a difference to the Lotus Assassins. I know you'll be fine. The Assassins will be lucky if you don't bring the place down around their ears. Just be sure not to tip your hand before you're ready. That's all in the future, though. We should keep it what we're doing. There's a lot left to tackle before we're done. All right, I'll talk to you later, Sky. Of course. Uh, Ho, anything to say? Yes? How can this humble Bunmaster assist you today? Uh, what are your thoughts on our situation? I think you need somebody like me to keep your camp in order while you're off invading the fortress. I can make sure there's some hot soup waiting for you. Turtle egg soup, perhaps. Now, there's a thought. Where did I put those turtle eggs? You gave them to me! All right. Do you have anything else to say? Tell me more about yourself. Not now. Yep. So, no. Okay, that's it. Black Whirlwind? What? What are your thoughts on our situation? Nothing's changed since the last... Okay. And... 
Silk Fox. I think I need to change who my companion is for that too. Let's keep things simple. If someone gets in our way, remove them. All right, Silk Fox. Yes, I appreciate the attention, but you have things to do. You've made arrangements to gain the trust of the Lotus Assassins, but haven't followed through. The Inquisitor has a task for you to prove your worth. Get to it and show him why you should be recruited. You could also seek out the Executioner in the arena. He would be interested in your skill as a combatant. Is something troubling you? Your feelings are important to me. Your progress is admirable, but don't become too close to the Lotus Assassins. Their power is seductive. That is how Death's Hand gained influence over my father. That annoys you, I can see. Tell me about it. After the disappearance of my uncle, Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven, the Imperial Order of the Lotus Monks was directionless. Instead of taking on that role himself, my father gave it to an advisor, Death's Hand. I was only a baby at the time. Why didn't your father take the role for himself? He did not have enough time. The burden of state is heavy and he is not a well man. Death's Hand takes advantage of this. Regardless, the Lotus Monks were placed in the care of Death's Hand, a duty reserved for royalty. It was almost as if my father took Death's Hand into our family. My family! We have been caretakers of the Empire for generations. We have created a bastion of culture in an otherwise uncivilized world. Death's Hand threatens all of this. It is my duty to see that the natural order is preserved. Mm. That is your duty, but what about who you are? Tell me about yourself. About... about me? But... why? I mean, there's so much I've told you already. I really don't think that we need any more information to complete our mission. The princess and her duties interest me less than the woman behind them. Oh. Well, I suppose I could answer a few questions. Although I'm sure more than enough has been said about me by the peasants or others, I am quite used to defending myself from all quarters. What do they say? That she would do anything for those in need? I've never seen myself as particularly generous, but it would not be so bad to be remembered in that way. The gratitude of the peasants is important to any ruler. They, even unknowingly, have the power to see the Empire rise or fall. The love of the people is powerful. I hope, however, that I am not just seen as a giver of charity. Anyone can throw money at the downtrodden. I try to accomplish more than that. I'm sure they say the princess has the authority to command, yet the wisdom to listen to advice. You presume a great deal. Can you really have seen this in such a short time? Those are qualities I would like to say I have. But I am not certain that I do. I have little time for listening when I seem to be fighting the very system of which I am a part. Don't worry. I'll keep you grounded. You? Well, you might. I don't know what the future will bring for us. Do you think yourself worthy of reminding me of what is important? To keep me humble? My father will take a dim view of that. I'll be whatever you wish me to be. Wait, this is further than I thought this conversation would go. This is not proper. I will not allow it. You presume too much. I think we have had quite enough amusement for now. Perhaps, perhaps we will continue this a little later. I have enjoyed our little talk. <laughs> All right, goodbye for now. I wish you luck. Well I don't know if it was quite so clear, but... For the record, is better than waiting around in the camp. as I believe I said once before, there are three possible, uh, three possible people that you can start a re relationship with. If you're male, you can start a relationship with Dawnstar. If you're female, you can start a relationship with Sky. Silk Fox 
Male or female, you can start a relationship with her, I believe. If I'm remembering right. I admit, I always favored her a little. I don't know why. Maybe it's the black outfit. Anyway, Kang! We need to go back to Lord yes, Lars' yes, furnace. By the way, what do you think of our current situation? What? Not n Okay. Never mind, let's talk about Lord Lars' yes. furnace. We need to go there. Take me Certainly. back. Now, let's see here. We do have one more configuration that we can do. Uh, let's see. Dragon? No, we can't do that one yet. But snake we can do. Let's see. Tiger. Nickeled iron. And we need electrical current, chimney smoke, and cauldron. Start by putting in the iron. Load a new fuel in. The bar of nickeled iron. The carefully alloyed iron rests easily in a small indentation in the bottom of the fuel hopper. The fit is too close to be mere coincidence. Let's see, and it's that with... Electricity, cauldron, and chimney stack. Let's see, conductor for electricity, clapper chimney for the smoke, and the cauldron... Is it this one? Yep, cranking cauldron. There they go. Now I believe if we hit the tiger button once this is all ready, we should get something else. There we go. Calm as the morning breeze. It worked. There's just something about this place. I can almost feel it. It's on the tip of my brain. And then it's gone. I just wish something would help prod my memory. Kang, something just appeared behind you. Huh? What? Well, now, what have we here? Well, isn't that just a golden carp full of luck? Let's see here. It's... it's a wind map. Very sloppy ink, like it was crafted in a hurry, but I can decipher it. It would seem that someone wants to reward proper use of the furnace. Interesting. Where does it lead? through some wind, like any other of its kind. Really, I think you'd have grasped the concept by... Oh, you mean specifically? Yes. Like the previous map, there is really only one way to know for certain where it leads, and that is to get in the flyer and go there. We will have to leave the furnace before we can fly out, however. A little matter of needing the flyer? Just tell me when you want to leave. Of course. I think we might be ready. I'm ready to leave. If we make it back to the real world, speak with me again, and we can head off on that little wind map adventure. Did I say, if we make it back? Ha! Yes, yes, I did. Really reassuring. Okay. Come on, finish loading. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see here. First things first... I want to see... Calm as the morning breeze. Plus five to mine. Lord Lao's furnace generated calm as the morning breeze when this correct configuration was used. Plus five increase to mind. Okay. That's worth it. We have a lot of chi. Alright. Let's, uh... Well, oh. it looks like your contact with the Lotus Assassins will be bad for your reputation, but good for our goal. I can't agree with this. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know the danger they represent. Really? What did you see while hiding in your swamp? I've observed Death's Hand for years, both in the palace and elsewhere. You could have four faces in a different name and wardrobe for each, and you still wouldn't understand. Death's Hand is not what he seems. Then what, pray tell, is he? I don't know. But his power does not come from study or skill. He is something darker, and we should not be trying to enter his lair. It sounds like Sagacious Zoo wants to go back into hiding. Or perhaps the nursery? Pay no attention, not everyone is as weak as he is. That's not quite the crude way to say it. I'll do what I'm... Quiet, Silk Fox. He is right to advise caution, though. Thank you for listening, but I want more than caution. 
Neither of you understand what they are capable of. You aren't doing much to add to our understanding. Go sulk in the corner like you're accustomed to doing. Sheesh. Calm down. Did you this seriously go to anything. the corner? Are we any closer to getting to the Lotus Assassin so this accursed woman will help us find Master Lee? Oh, she spits fire at last. Now I see how the child left her little village. She has some spirit in her after all. And surprisingly, she's right. You've made contact with the Lotus Assassins, but haven't shown them why they need to fully accept you. The Inquisitor has a task for you to prove your worth. Get to it and show him why you should be recruited. All right, all right. Take it easy. You could also seek out the Executioner in the arena. He would be interested in your skill as a combatant. I am aware. All right. Is something troubling you again? I'm not sure we have the time. There are... Okay, then. Goodbye for I... now. Now, if you don't... You seriously went off to the corner. All right. Let me save before we do this, Kang. All right, then. Kang! Yes, yes? I need to... F Let's talk about Lord Lau's furnace and your latest wind map. I'm waiting for you to follow the map we found after using the furnace. I'm sure it will jog my memory and maybe result in a few trinkets for you. Who knows? All right, let's go. Ha! <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Remembering things long forgotten is like getting to open a gift twice. Theoretically. Oh, shit. There it is. More memories are hidden in this house. Interesting. There we go, that's what I like to see. Keep going. I begin to think there is a lot of stake here. It's just a lot of balloons. What the? Okay, that was odd. Don't think there's anything else here. I think we got through. Yes, yes! I see things so clearly now. Nope, there's more! Oh, hello, coming from the back. Interesting. No actual nope. destination, but my memory is potted again. Good job. Okay. Well, that's something. See what that gave us. Mirage. Well, another exciting adventure. No new devices to build, but I have more than just memories to show for it this time. Exotic fuel for the furnace. Really? Where did you even get that? We didn't land. I hung a net out. Wait, I have nets? Yes, I do. I have a lot of things. Oh, good thing, too. We can use this stuff. With the proper configurations, these new elements can produce spectacular effects. Ha! <laughs> we should be glad. Hopefully it's what I need. There must be more to it. It can't be there just for me to play with. Hmm, I see what you mean. It does seem to be a rather complicated number of hoops to go through just for some shiny baubles. Even the baubles are always nice to have. Perhaps, perhaps more will be revealed with further operation of the furnace. Like how the map for the last trip appeared. There must be some plan in place. Lord Lao wouldn't leave such a thing unattended for no reason. Much as I would never leave the marvelous dragonfly at the side of the road. All right, that's all for now. Off you go. I'll start planning some redesigns for the dragonfly. Maybe, maybe floats made of air bladders. Sheepskin, of course. Hmm. Of course. Hey, a vial of sulfurous water. We do actually need that. So, what's this uh, mirage ability we got? Where are they? Flyer. Here we are. For a short time, your flyer is invisible to your enemies. Enemies and their weapons pass through you. 
the chi contrast for Mirage is moderate. Okay. Well, we do need to. Well, it looks like your contact with the the Inquisitor. You could also see. All right, we know. I'm working on it. First things first, Kang. We're going back to the furnace. Yeah. Have you identified any more configurations? No, I have not had. I don't know. Um, maybe have a look. at... Okay, we'll take a look at that. First, back to the Sorry. furnace. Okay, so what did you find exactly? Yes, I know I have three style points. It's not what I care about. Plot items. Okay, first, transcribed post carving. A garden of ineffectual intellectuals. We got that. Okay, the vial of sulfurous water is going with the configuration of the dragon. Guided by the tiger burn bright as the cauldron bubbles in the night. The cogs whirl in their graceful dances, but they grow tired unless they drink of the water infused with sulfur. So the sulfurous water, cogs, and cauldron. Alright, so that's the cauldron. And those are the cogs. And the sulfurous water. Alright, and I believe it said tiger? Yep, tiger. Just gotta wait for those to wear down. And, come on, come on, activate, activate! Why are you not activating? There you go. A mountain within. Okay, so what did that give us? Uh, no... Here we are. A mountain within. Plus five body. Okay, I'll take the body bonus. We really did need that. Alright, and thank you, Kang. I'm ready to leave this place. So we did four configurations. There have to be more. I just don't know where. This can't be happening. My business is finished. I'm finished. Really now. I think we will speak with you, person, in the next episode, because this one has gone on, frankly, long enough. Next episode, we'll speak of this mechanic and see what he has to say, and then move on. While we could go and continue with the main quest, I think maybe we'll make our way towards the Black Leopard School, or do some other explorations. Prefect Cheetah, that's new. That'll all be in the next episode. Till then, I'm Chester44, that is Jin and Silk Fox. This has been a Let's Play of Jade Empire, and I shall see you all next time.